I'm Emily Burnett. I'm from Palo Alto, California. I'm Lubbock, Texas. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're from Smithville, Missouri. I'm actually from Brazil, but I moved to America about five years ago. And we are currently in Oklahoma City. We're doing the first robotics competition. First stands for? For inspiration and recognition of science and technology. Personally, I think the first stands for making people come together, communicate with each other and learn off each other, and just have a really tight community. It is high action energy for competitive engineering. We kind of say that it's NASCAR for students. It's a business team, a promotional team, research and development. We got programming, we've got you know fabrication and design, and then problem solving and fixing and repairing and coming back all over again. I mean, it's about having big dreams, but also making them tangible. Most people usually assume that I'm trying to beat other robots up, which is totally not the case. It's all about cooperation, which is like cooperative competition. So while you're trying to beat each other, you also try to help each other out and learn off of each other. Something you definitely learn in first is a word you hear a lot, gracious professionalism. Last year at the Oklahoma City Regional, I believe it was between first and second in the tournament, and the other team, one of their pieces broke off to where they couldn't run, so the first place team used their only timeout, ran over the pits, and helped them fix their robot just because they wanted a fair match. The last night of the build season, we call it the reveal night. That's when we call our sponsors in and showing off our robot and everything. And we bent our arm too much that it came underneath the robot and broke it. So it's just flapping around. And we ended up saying that it's part of the robot. Surprise. <laughs> Once our arm broke off, we actually just changed our gearbox into a window motor. <laughs> so that's the reason we get a, such a good robot. Try and error. Mentorship is the best thing we have in the team. They really helped me. They pushed me to a point where they expected me to put the robot together. And I'm really glad they did because it helped me learn that I can design something in my mind and I can put it on paper and then I can build it. Uh, most of the kids that we volunteer with have a part-time job and they have to babysit their brothers and sisters. So, I mean, they've got a lot on their plate and they still spend the dedication and the time to be able to build the robot. These kids are extraordinary. First influenced my decision into going into engineering. It's put me more in depth with my love for engineering in general. It definitely gives you an experience in it before you actually go to college. I don't think I've been interested at all in engineering unless I had done first. One fear that people always have when we talk to them about robotics is, oh, I don't know anything about engineering, I can't program, and we say, well, you learn on the job. I mean, we're all here to help you. It's not just about building the robot, it's about being in the community. There's so many roles that one can take on a FIRST team. You don't have to be interested in engineering or computer science or anything to be in FIRST. All you have to be interested in is learning and having a really fun time. And if you want to do both of those things, then FIRST is going to be a great experience for you. I've said it to everybody year after year, just come to an event. Anybody that gets involved finds the excitement. I've got so many highlights. I mean, year after year, it is the kids, it's the mentors, it's the family bonding that you get with the kids, it's the experiences. If you want to make a difference, this is the place to do it.